okay. Now comes another fun part of the design process, creating the subscribe button. I have decided to create for this outro a rectangle subscribe button. The reason for this is when people upload this video to YouTube and they use YouTube annotations, those annotations, those clickable areas you, you have when you watch a video on YouTube, they are rectangles. They cannot be rounded. So you have always to keep this in mind. Slide shapes are okay. This will look also good. But for the subscribe button, I would like it to be a rectangle. This will create the best effect while creating the YouTube annotations. Also simple text works, definitely. But we want it to really stand out. So I go ahead, I make a big, big rectangle. I did watch on the colors. You can make it a similar red like on YouTube, but I kind of like those yellow colors here. I just go ahead, select one of them. And as usual, I get rid of the shape outline. Now I have no outline. Now keep in mind what I will do now. Normally you could write right in the rectangle, but I do not recommend it. You have no, no power of editing this object inside. What I do instead, I go to insert and I place a text box. When using a text box, I can move it and drag it around just as I want. So if the client wants, you know, I would like the subscribe text to be somewhere else in the, on the button. You can create this only by using the text tool. So I just write subscribe in big letters and I'll use one of the fonts. It's a free font. I really like it. It's called intro. If you are a graphic designer, you most likely know it because it's very popular and famous. Because as you see, it looks really great. I will try a white one. Okay, this doesn't look good. So I will show you a nice trick for it. We have the subscribe text, we have the button. Again, just like before, I connect both of them by grouping them. Now they are one object. I should resize this and I should press the text to be in the middle. Now everything snaps, so it's no problem to place it. But if the client would like a change, for example, having it more on the left, it's no problem to shift it around. Okay, let me show you a very nice trick, which will make the button look much more appealing. I go to drawing tools and I go to the text fill. Selecting the text fill, will change me the color, but you can also fill it with a picture. So what I like to do, and I fill it with the pattern we did use for the background. When I do this, it creates an effect as the subscribe text would be transparent. I can tile it again, just as we did before. And as you see, it looks like the text would be cut out from the actual button. So as, power, as for PowerPoint, this is a great effect to use and it will definitely look more professional. You can also tighten or change the letters up. Let's make tight and make it bigger. For example, this is just one way of changing the text. And as you see, in a few simple steps, we have the subscribe button ready. I saved the project. You'll have the project file sub button resource. So thank you for your attention and let's proceed to the next step, which will be looking at the whole concept.